Unix systems like Linux have a file control system that can be tweaked using a command called chmod. Chmod allows you to change a file's permissions, but within that is that number 777, which is often vital to taking control of a file. Here we explain how chmod 777 works. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and this is what does chmod 777 mean in Linux? If you're a Linux user or webmaster managing your own website, which is probably hosted on a Linux server, you'll surely come across a situation where you try to upload a file or modify a document and receive the error you do not have permissions to upload file to the folder. And after some googling, the solution is often as easy as setting the file permissions to 775 or 777. So what exactly does 777 mean and why must it be 7 and not 8 or 9? Understanding file permissions. Unix systems, including Linux and Mac OS X, come with a file control mechanism to determine who can access a particular file or folder and what actions they can do to it. There are two parts to the file control mechanism, namely classes and permissions. Classes determine who can access the file, while the permissions determine the kind of action the user can do to the file. There are three classes, owner, group and others. The owner is usually the creator of the file or folders. In Linux, files or folders that you created in your home directory are usually owned by you, unless you specifically change the ownership. The group contains a group of users who share the same permissions and user privilege. Others means the general public. As for permissions, there are three types of actions that you can perform on a file or folder. You can either read, write or execute. Read. You can only view the file, but you cannot modify the content of the file. When applied on a folder, you can only view the files on the folder, but you can't delete from or add files into the folder. Write. You can edit and modify the file. For folders, you can delete and add files into the folder. Execute. Execute is mainly used when you need to run the file, commonly used when you need to run a script. When you combine the classes and the permissions, you'll be able to control who can access the file and what actions they are able to do with it. For example, the owner will usually have all the permissions, read, write and execute, to access the files. If you're not the owner of the file or folder, you have to change the ownership of that file to your name or change the permissions of group or others to read, write or execute. In a web server, if you're not able to upload a file, it's probably because you're not the owner of the destination folder or you're not given sufficient permissions to add the files to the folder. What about the number? With that basic understanding of the classes and permissions, let's delve into it a little bit further and see how the 777 or 775 comes about. Every file and folder contains an 8-bit data that controls the permissions. At its basic binary form, it will be 000, which means no permissions of any form is granted. When you set a read permission, it will add four bits to the data, making it 100 in binary format, or four in the usual decimal format. While setting a write permission, it will add two bits to the data, making it 010 or two in decimal form. Lastly, setting an execute permission adds one bit to the data, which will result in 001 or one in decimal form. So in short, Read is equivalent to 4, write is equivalent to 2, and execute is equivalent to 1. When we want to set permissions, we just add up the numbers. For example, to set the permissions to read and write, we will use 6, which is 4 plus 2, for the permission. For read, write and execute, we will use 7, 4 plus 2 plus 1, for the permission. Here's the different permutations. No permissions whatsoever, 0. 1, execute. 2, write. 3, write and execute. 4. Read. 5. Read and execute. 6. Read and write. 7. Read, write and execute. So depending on the permissions you want to grant to the file, you just set the number accordingly. What about the digits 777? Well, the first digit is assigned to the owner, the second digit is assigned to the group and the third digit is assigned to the others. So for a file with 777 permission, anyone can read, write and execute the file. Here are some of the commonly used permissions. 755. This set of permissions is commonly used in web servers. The owner has all the permissions to read, write and execute. Everyone else can only read and execute, but cannot make changes to the file. 777. 
This is the big one. Everyone can read and write and execute. In a web server, it's not advisable to set 777 permission for your files and folders as it literally allows anyone to add malicious code to your server. However, in some cases, you'll need to set the 777 permissions before you can upload any file to the server. For example, uploading images in WordPress. 644. Only the owner can read and write. Everyone else can only read. No one can execute the file. And finally, 655. Only the owner can read and write, but not execute the file. Everyone else can read and execute, but cannot modify the file. Setting file permissions in command line. In Linux, you can easily change the permissions by right-clicking the file or folder and selecting Properties. There will be a Permissions tab where you can change the file permissions in the terminal. In the terminal, the command to use to change file permission is chmod, short for Change Mode. In short, chmod777 means making the file readable, writable and executable by everyone. The format is like so. OK, hopefully this article can help you understand better about the file permissions in Unix systems and the origins of the magical number 777. OK, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.